Hi everybody, welcome back to Transformers Devastation in 2024. We're uh, playing as Wheeljack, battling the Decepticons. Uh, because he was uh, recommended out of the options I gave a couple folks to tell me who they want to see played. And also, you know, I mean, I get it, Grimlock, Optimus, Bumblebee. You see them a lot, they're probably some of the more popular ones. Lord knows why with Grimlock or Bumblebee. Uh, anywho, I do not do tips, tricks, guides, walkthroughs, 100% speedruns, trophies, or achievements. Unless by accident. Uh, I like to play games. Fit it in when I can, where I can, how I can. And, uh, yeah, it's a hobby. And it's one I enjoy. One of the 30 different hobbies I have. One of the 30 different hobbies I can still do. Uh, health issues getting in the way. Old age. They quote Abe Simpson. It'll happen to you too. Uh, that was kind of a good one. At least in the inflection. Uh, so yeah, I, and you know, it's easy for me to upload these thanks to uh, in the NVIDIA. You just have to like press two buttons at the same time. And bam, we're, we're good to go. We're on the road. And then, unless if I'm live streaming, I'll have to do this extra step. But the extra step being I have to actually upload it. So yeah, it's easy. I'm lazy, and that works in my book. All my stuff is unedited, unscripted, uncensored. The three uns. Kind of like Seer, what is it, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? That's mine, my three uns. I want to say thanks to all my subscribers, though. Every single one of you. I firmly believe the more the merrier. But uh, as long as I have one subscriber, I'll keep making videos. Promise, not a threat. But I could understand why someone would take it that way. Any drive-by rubberneck and viewers, welcome. Hopefully you enjoy this video or any of the other videos. I do. I do tend to do a longer format for most of my videos because it saves me needing to upload them multiple times. And it goes hand in hand with how I want to do the stuff on the channel. I just want it to be completely feel like it's natural. And that ties into the sole goal, which is to invade your homes and phones. So you can put it on in the background whether it's 1 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the evening, or you're on your way to work. In the morning, you can't, uh, you can't always go over to a buddy's place, so... To hang out and chill like you used to be able to. Time gets in the way, work, all that jazz, so... I'm trying to cultivate that atmosphere of, uh... Like you're coming on over, or you're letting me come on over to hang out with you. Dumb dialogue or conversations mixed with terrible gameplay. Those are always good times. Also, hopefully I'm playing games that maybe you haven't seen, heard of, or played um, and encourages you to maybe explore a bit more, check them out at your pace or leisure, or maybe completely avoid them and be like, well, I just saw the whole game played. And a, uh, so, you know, I like to do things out of the box, O box, because uh, not everyone wants to mod their games. I don't think there's any. There's probably mods for this game, what am I saying? And that way you know what you're getting into. It's been an early morning for me, so I'm a little bit frazzled. I don't know that's why. Alright, I'll jump into it. Chapter 3. I've kind of reined it in to do a chapter of video because, uh, one, it keeps the videos shorter in length, and two, well, it really isn't it, too. Well, I guess two would be it keeps it um, easier to watch the videos because I, I hate, like, 
What's the plan, Optimus? Going a chapter and a half, the and then stopping, the and then starting back up. I just wouldn't. But Megatron will uh, undoubtedly go after the plasma core. Could be my anal, anal retentiveness. And it sprung a leak before it ejected. Even if Megatron never gets it, we still have to shut it down. We should scan for deceptive creep activity. That plasma core eject button wasn't targeted. Megatron's gonna need someone to go pick it up. Split up. And find a I'm gonna play Okami at some point. I got to. This, the, the, the style in this game is just making me remember how much I really love that game. Yeah, I played that on the PS2. I may have bought a Wii version at some point, but I never, never got around to playing that one. All right. So, basic gist of it: we are robots in disguise. Though, well, let me ask this. Robots in disguise, but do you really... It's, when's the last time you remember them actually using their disguise to infiltrate? And even then, disguise would really only work towards... Against humans, right? Like... Why even say robots in disguise if there's really no stealth operation? <laughs> oh, we're doing it's this one again, huh? Alright. Do I really need to do this? No. No. I think I'm well off enough, but. Enjoy doing it. Ugh. Ugh, sorry, folks. Tobacco dip. Never get involved in it. I'll be right back. Gotta get water. Even sharks need water. What are you doing? Get up there. Look out the window. I have uh, come back with the three-legged cat. Whoa, that was kind of shaky. Yeah, I remember, dude, you're getting old like me. We're both old. All right, you gotta be you go a little slower. You're not that young, rowdy little boy. You used to be loco rowdy rose, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he was a spitfire when we got him. Told the story probably dozens of times now, but he was a feral stray that the vet I used to work at got in, and yeah, they asked if I, we wanted to take him in, so I said, sure. It's fine, whatever. Took the leg off because it was uh, his front right because it was gnarled. Or excuse me, his front left because it was gnarled. Uh, assumed he had been hit by a car at some point. It was useless, and at that point, um, it would have just been a danger to himself. He may have gotten it caught on something when he jumps. So we took it off. But <laughs> the way he acts, even in his very old age, and at this point now, he's like 10, 11. Yeah, it's been that long, huh? Um, he's, he doesn't let it bother him in the slightest. Yeah, all right. Let's get wheel jacked. Yeah. Homie, don't mess with that. Wait a second. How did you not pick that up?
Alright, so there's a slight auto lock on that I recommend people uh, abuse with this in vehicle mode. Just tap it. And you're for, there's like a momentary quick lock. Or auto target. Oh, that is pure. As you can tell, and, and Platinum Games did this, and this was an era. I think they were trying to get experience up for their B team or new programmers. And, uh, so you're going to see a lot of reused levels so much. But to be fair, that's because the meat and potatoes of this game is the uh, the gameplay, the mechanics. So that's never bothered me too much. Now, one that did bother me was um, uh, Mutants in Manhattan, I think, the Turtles one. Which I looked up some of the prices for the PS4 and I probably won't be doing that. If I do, I'd have to do it, figure out a way to set up the El was it Elgato, I think, I bought years ago. Never really put time into figuring out. Uh, nope, not a thing. Alright. That's bait. I know it. Someone's gonna pop up. Thundercrack. We have found someone smaller. Get Thundercracker to tell you the location of the core. Alright, there's gotta be stuff. that there. Why is any of this here? Oh, is this because Thundercracker is going to like fly around? I assume? So we've had our first encounter with the uh, best transformer. <laughs> Sandwich. Oh. 
Oh, energy pack of hard, that's definitely what's needed. Come on, buddy. See, even a <laughs> kind of jerking around a bit. Still got me. To join our cause, Thundercracker. <laughs> Today is not a good day to so piss me off. With plasma energy? That's madness. Wow, that took like no convincing at all. No wonder they call you Thundercracker. Very funny, Dip Squeak. No one should have that thing. You want to crack under pressure? Crack, so long as you promise to get rid of it. I think we could handle that. It's on the island. Megatron sent Blitzwing after it. You're closer, so you might be able to beat him there. I know the island. Only way onto it is across Liberty Bridge. Sounds like fun. Okay, now, let's look at the map. Little green things, side missions. Um, I guess I should be doing those, because apparently some of them only unlock on harder difficulty. I guess we'll do that, huh? Give it a try. Uh, sure. Oh, it's gonna be another one of these, huh? difficult than might appear. Let's be fair. <laughs> As you can see, we kind of want the handling. take it. If anything, just don't log it. That's something I didn't do in Chapter 2 too much. I didn't, I didn't check to see uh, side missions. Uh, I don't know what the green shield means. Is there like a legend option? No. That looks like that unlocks when I go this way. Try and go that way.
Yeah, I can't reach that. That's where I dropped off at, so it is the wrong one. As you can see, the box is also a uh, refill. And certain challenges will too. You know what? I think the shield might be for arc, right? location. Check that out. Yeah. Uh. Now these were originally blocking you off. They were too powerful. But, um, since we already took care of those engines by dealing with those computers, we're good. Oh wow, 3 1? 3 4 was the other one? Oh, this is one I have not done. Feed all the enemies. I, I'd love to. Fucking punch. I don't remember doing that one. No, oh, that one's yellow and it's got like swirly sword bits on it, huh? Must be a good one. Okay, let's look at this real quick. I didn't change my weapons. I thought I'd pick up four. Maybe. Let's test this out, huh? Maybe you have to have it equipped, right? Okay. Yes, so you have to have the actual weapon equipped that has it on there. Alright, so. See, that's something we learned. For the item pool. No, let's go check out the arc, right? Let's go confirm that this is the arc. And that's what that little shield means. It is. We'll skip all that to see. HP, rare drop two, rare drop one, weapon drop three. Yeah. Let's sell stuff. Yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. I mean, honestly, though, I. That's right, that's what I was going to do, right? I was going to... Uh, let's see... 
synthesize. Tack up, right? That's what we want. Yeah, we'll sell. I think we're good. Actually, let me see how many weapons we got. I can get pick up eighty more before I have to worry about it. So, okay. Make sure difficulties commander. It is. One. I had something, yeah, that I didn't have. Okay. So some of those have to be triggered by certain element types or tanks. So here's pops as us. Oh, see, there's a mission right there. I'm doing this because I'm not sure if it's ones I've unlocked already or not. Feed all enemies? Okay. get there from here? Maybe. I can get all the way down there. Maybe, possibly. I'm 
I mean, this is just free. Fire sword? Yes. Okay, I remember this now. <laughs> See, and then if you have the uh, item pool equipped, it makes that part so much easier. Maybe we have to collect those. So make sure you put item pool on at least one weapon. Sorry, trees. I'm just grabbing what I can. Now we go back. Try and do the stuff. This nice little. So make sure you backtrack a lot, especially on like your first playthrough. Since this is like my third or fourth, and I've maxed out everyone using the grinding techniques of going to um, missions 49 or 50. I think 50 is the one that's a little bit easier and a little more beneficial. Making sure to pop the items for extra credits, experience, and item drops. It will last you the entire time. Uh, go that way, and then I gotta go that way, right? Because I wanna go. That's the mission. The bridge is right there. Right there, see? Oh no! Oh yeah! Let's go. Heavy weapons, ground soldier. No dice. I didn't need to. Yeah, anything here? Doesn't look like it. Any laser beaks or any of that jazz. Gotta go left and right, so. I don't know if there's anything over there yet. I completely missed that though. Grab them on the way back. Okay, I gotta go up top of that.
I'll grab these guys right here. to clear out and do this? Not really. Do I want to? Yep. Yep. I'll have to remember that one. That might be a place where I have to go. Game still looks great. on a shield. Two chests here. And we got these little boxes. Three right. five. What do we got? That's different. Go check out what the other side. Well, there's something I'll probably need to shoot. Like a dime store uh, laser beam. Clear out the other side. Off we go. I got played.
there is an ability, like the uh, item pull. I think it's called item scanner. Allows you to uh, see on your map, your radar, any weapons. Before I go doing that, I need to get some energon back. Hopefully. This is where we start the game. Uh, we are not doing the, uh, when you start the game, in case this is the first video of these, uh, of this playthrough that you're joining in, you have the option, I can't remember when you originally played the game, on a first playthrough, but you have the option to play as either the story characters, meaning you'll switch between the different Autobots, or Picking one character and then playing through with them. But from what I can remember, I think you can switch out. Alright, we're at 35, 38, that should work. Play mission 3 2. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Sniper corridor, man. Those darn seekers. I'm glad I got that, uh. There you go, man. Alright, on we continue. Let's go to the bridge. Where are you going, Captain Logo? Hmm? Alright, how'd I miss that? Captain Logo is going off to adventures. This little cat world. This far away. It is not. I mean, in some form it would be, right? Okay, so I have to go this way, right? And then... Hit the wind cow. I somehow got turned around. Okay. Oh, can I not go back through this way? Okay. Fine, we'll take the long way. We'll take the... Autobot... Drive machine.
go this way. Yes. I'm lost. Might be needing a sniper rifle for them. Probably trying to patch that leak before they move it. That's what I do. Hmm. I think I might have a plan. We passed red energon back a ways. That stuff goes boom. Pelotran one, scan for red energon. Scanning. There are two caches nearby. Warning. Decepticon activity detected. Maintaining visual surveillance. No problem. They're always Grand Theft Auto in it. Insecta cons, more like insecta gone. Ooh. Let's see what this looks like from this angle. This is not easy. Doing the hop machine. Okay, so it regenerates. And that's why I also hit myself like 30 times.
He just one hands it. Star scream. <laughs> That's a terrible impersonation. <laughs> Yep, that's all it takes. I could have done more tricky stuff. Yeah, it's Starscream. He doesn't warrant the effort. You can. Alright, so, is Starscream a jobber? Alright, let's see if we can get this guy now. Yes, let's enter the arc. Yeah, whoopings. Uh, this is a rare drop. Then I might. Credits. Lots of credits. And there's a rare drop three. Alright. Um. Weapons, equip, flame sword. Oh, let's do this. I gotta have a sniper somewhere. There you go. We'll just do that first. This. Come back here. Put the flame sword back on. I wonder if you have to have. There we go. This might. There you go. Boom. Weapons, equip, that one, melee, hyperthermal sword. Yep. Let's, uh, Actually, put the rare drop on that, huh? Oh, I didn't do it. Synthesize. Cryo missiles. I messed this up on. Cryo missiles. Okay. Synthesize. Cryo missiles. Ranged. So I know it was on that sniper. Rare drop three. No. We don't want to do that then. Right. You know what I will do? I will. I don't, you know, I'm beginning to wonder if you need to have it on the equipped weapon man. I wonder if... 
pick it up before. I'll try it. I'll try that. Um. Yeah, I'll try and save the selling stuff so you guys don't get bogged down watching just in the menus. Oh, look who it is. Let's win. Triple cheater. Cheater. Big fat cheater. Oh, I don't remember this. This is a weird one. Don't worry, that's not the end of them. Where's Grimlock? There he is. Yeah, I think Grimlock was a DLC. Could be wrong, though. They are definitely more aggressive on That's what makes Prime a good leader. It's about delegating. He knows he can't solve every problem. He surrounds himself by people who specialize in areas. And that's what takes a good leader. Some of the worst leaders I ever served with. You know what? Really was already. God, this. It just goes by so quick. It really does. I feel like we just started. But okay. Um. Yeah, I'll call it here. As you can see, there's seven chapters. Uh, I'll ramble as I do the lab stuff. But, um. Well, that's an S rank, huh? I might keep that around. So, yeah, your sale value, once again, is based upon uh, the ranking of the item, so. Your D, even if they have a really good skill, sells for 100. Doesn't matter how many slots they have, doesn't matter what kind of skills. I gotta clear this out, anyways. Sorry, four or above. And always sell defects unless you're looking for um, a harder playthrough. Also, you can see every, every Autobot has its own specific weapon only they can use so wheeljack has uh, wrenches um prime has his axe grimlock has like his a fist bumblebee have a fist and i forgot what uh ratchet has maybe we'll see it as i sell stuff rare drop three might keep that 
You know what? I don't care about last. Yeah, this, the game, when I start doing the video, it just flies by quick. You know? And that tells you it's a good game. And you don't even realize how long you've been playing. Another great thing I've harped on already in two videos, but um, there's depth that allows you... to fiddle around with um, how you want to play. All right? I'm clearing this out because I don't want the inventory to hit 200 and then I lose out on the possibility of a really good weapon. The only reason I save the fours is uh, if I ever want to min and max stuff. Hyper thermal axe, jeez, that's brutal. Brutal. Mm. Yeah, it's sad that Platinum Games has a kind of has kind of abandoned. Yeah, here's uh, Grimlock's gloves, right. and he plays actually very different, the most different from all the other Autobots um, because of his form. I have messed around with him a bit. In fact, I think if you play through the campaign. Um, Maybe he was an unlockable in the campaign as you play through it. Uh, but he shows up in the earlier missions because I've already played through it. But uh, he plays very different because of his uh, dinosaur mode. That was Optimus' uh, very specific ranged weapon, cannon thing. Finish. Saving that one was I. And the reason I'm not really focusing on um, synthesizing a lot is I'm trying to save the credits up because trust me. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, leveling up is expensive. Most of these I could probably sell. I kind of don't want to, but I can sell that. That's nothing. I'll sell that just because this is better. Clearly. Yeah, look at that. Oh, Wheeljack can use that. Wow, that's a lot of damage. How much is... Hmm. Let's check that out real quick. Compared to... That. Oh, okay. Fusion cannon. could potentially be better than cryo missiles, but I'll stick with the cryo missiles because the freeze is very helpful. Uh, I would recommend getting a freeze on a gun if you're having difficulties because uh, if you can get it to proc, also appears to work on bosses, which is just free hits where they're not hitting you. All right, everybody, I'm going to call it here. To my subscribers, thank you once again. Continue being awesome. Drive-by viewers. Hope to see you come back around again. Till the next time, stay safe and uh, have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. See you.